A lot of dangerous things have happened in Bakhmut, in the Ukrainian captured Bakhmut two kilometer area. I will tell you everything about it, but let's start with this. So Prigozhin was crying a few days ago. We all saw that video, I released all that stuff. But today, after like two days of, you know, burning that Ukrainian occupied Bakhmut region, Prigozhin today said that PMC Wagner advanced 280 meters, which was currently occupied by the armed forces of Ukraine, uh, which control 2.37 square kilometers of the city. He said, we are moving forward and waiting for the arrival of ammunition. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, I showed you the video in which Russia used the flame bombs or phosphorus bombs for two days. Okay, not just one day, but two days after the Wagner released the video calling Shoigu this and that. Because they knew that when Wagner has to leave, these Ukrainians would create a problem. So they went into the scorch earth policy, you know, strategy in which they burned down every single thing. And today they released the video of the smoldering Bakhmut and this is the area that you will see in that video which is controlled by the Ukrainians. It's all buildings and buildings here. It's not that much, but nevertheless, it has a lot of buildings. And that's what we will see. This is the smoldering, burning remains of the Ukrainian captured Bakhmut area, the two kilometers of it. This is the map I was showing you where it had buildings and stuff. This small section that was completely burning. Okay. So they dropped these phosphorus incendiary bombs on this area for two nights and two days constantly because Wagner knew that it is better to you know do this rather than allow the Ukrainians to move forward and launch attacks because because Wagner knew that Ukrainians know that they don't have ammunition and therefore they can conduct some attacks try to gain some territory inside Bakhmut so they decided to burn the whole thing down whatever that was controlled by Ukrainians so this place was completely showered and was burning non-stop for two days you know when that fire used to slow down they would fire more of these things Phosphorus bombs or I don't know what that is magnesium phosphorus. I don't know and It heated up the whole place and you know what Ukrainians did today They released a video showing the destruction This is the charred remains of that place You see it is all charred up. I Don't I think a lot of Ukrainians were injured in this. I use the word injured because that's what happened. The entire thing was burning. It's like you are in hell or maybe in prehistoric earth where the earth was hot just the same way. This whole thing was burning and it's crazy stuff and it's all fucked up look at this all everything is charred you know charred means charcoalified so what I worry about now is what if this is taken as a lesson again taught by Wagner because Wagner has been teaching the Russian army is like writing down every single thing and analyzing the video of Wagner how they captured this and that and blah blah now if this thing is being taken as a lesson that is again taken from the Wagners that what you do in, in the future is when you see the Ukrainian positions in front of you, you just annihilate them using these bombs. My God, I fear for that day. I fear for my Ukrainians, you know, because there is nothing they can do about this. If the sky starts to rain fire on their entire village, 
for two days or a small town for two three days non-stop all their tanks and BMPs and every single ammunition that they have like especially the tanks and the BMPs and the artillery they all will catch fire and burn and kaboom